Recently, Pikeville Fire Department acquired a new boat for their Swift Water Rescue Team. Every member of the department is being trained to operate it in various conditions to minimize safety hazards. The main purpose of the boat is to be used in rescue and recovery missions. Actually, we just took it out for just a quick demo, see what it could do, see if it's going to hold up to our expectations. Uh, we took it on the river right behind Holiday Inn um, in a downpour. We just want to see what it was like in those conditions as a brand new. So we're going to be using it for uh, rescues and also recoveries, whereas we used to have an air boat, uh, like a swamp boat is what we had, and it was just too loud, too quick on the water. And this one allows us to slow down, be able to talk to each other, and uh, see what we're looking for in a slower pace condition like we need to be. Cancer, it's a very scary word. But an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center. As a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it through the day, make it through the day. The boat is suitable for navigating any body of water Pikeville Fire Department needs it for. Training will continue for some time in order to test the boat's limits. It's not a quick boat and we don't need to be so quick that we don't see what's on the banks and people yelling for us and asking for help. Uh, we had actually the same type of boat that Elkhorn had. Uh, Chief Cofield let us use for a little bit and see, kind of demo it out and see if we liked it or not. Uh, we could take us in any low uh, creeks and also the rivers. Uh, we can get up in these little streams a lot easier and actually maneuverable not have to worry about the prop going down or any backup plans with it. You may see us out from time to time. It's brand new, so we're definitely going to get it out on the water and try it out, test its limits, and see what we can do with it. And put them in those areas that it may not seem safe to the public, but we're taking two or three steps ahead safety-wise to make sure that we're doing it the right way and the correct way when we do these practices. That way, when a true emergency comes out, we can expect the conditions of the river to be a certain way and how to react it if it's a lot of current towards us or how to do a rescue off of it. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.